Hello everyone. Today we are going to review how to paint super trend signals from one chart into another chart. That other chart can be even with a different instrument and time frame. On, on this example, both the instrument and time frames are the same, so we can check that the signals are the same and they are aligned. So first, let's start for the main chart. I will remove all the additional tools. So we only keep the super trend indicator. If we look at the input parameters, there is one parameter named op mode with two possible values, zero or one. With the value of 1, it is not useful visually, but we get a new line with two possible values, plus, plus 1 for uptrends and minus 1 for downtrends. So if the, sub, the super trend is going down, it is equal to minus 1, and if it is going to the upside, it is plus one so we can copy now the this line using the copy indicator we assign a name for example trend and then we copy the super trend with the same parameters but the only difference is that we use an op mode equal to one and we copy the plot line named entry and now we get the trend indication at the bottom it is equal to plus one and minus one when going up or down so now we are available that variable on all the charts if we remove all the indicators on this chart then we have available the trend variable on other videos we have used it for filtering but for example we can paint it and we can see that it matches the values on the original chart now if we want to paint the super trend signals we need to check these changes when there is a crossover and we have crossovers by zero so we may need a constant equal to zero we can assign that, vari that variable on any chart on the original or on a secondary chart so we use the constant indicator to assign the variable name 0 with the value of 0. That variable now is available everywhere. So again we can paint it on this other chart. And we can see it on the bottom. So now we can check the crossover between both lines. We, we don't need that line so I, I will remove it from the chart. So now we can use the crossover indicator to detect the crossover between this line, the trend line, and the variable named zero. And we want arrows painted when crossing to the upside and to the downside and here we have the arrows corresponding to those crossovers we don't need that trend line painted and the only indicator that we are using is the, is the crossover between two variables defined on another chart on this chart we also don't need the super trend so we can remove it This is valid for any 
time frame or any instrument even because these signals are real time calculated from another chart so this is the, the method to paint signals of the super trend calculated on another chart if you have any question please post below this video thank you everyone bye bye